Kim Moreland, and I adore good dialogue. Funny, snappy, punchy, insightful, love it. Nothing makes a book come to life faster, and it's also a ton of fun to write. Whenever I finish a day's writing session with a comparatively massive word count, you can pretty much bet I was working on a scene with lots of dialogue. I would say that most of us find dialogue relatively easy to write. Unlike many of the elements of good fiction, dialogue is something that we encounter every day in real life. However, our everyday real life dialogue experiences can sometimes lead us astray. In an attempt to make our dialogue sound as realistic as possible, we can sometimes end up inserting unnecessary fillers. I like to call these authorial throat clearings. These can come in a variety of flavors, but perhaps the most egregious is that of introductions and subsequent small talk. For example, let's say you have to introduce Jake and Jody at a party. Jake versus Jody, Jody, Jake. Oh, howdy, Jake. Nice to meet you. Same to you, Jody. And isn't this a great party? Sure is. And how about this fantastic weather we've been having? Not exactly scintillating, is it? Worse, it does nothing to illustrate character and even less to advance the plot. In the vast majority of instances, these sort of throat clearings are entirely unnecessary. Cut them out ruthlessly. If you need to tell readers that characters were introduced in exchange small talk, then just tell them that. Jake and Jody were introduced and exchanged a few pleasantries. That's all you need. Your dialogue will be much tighter as a result, and readers will be relieved that they can get back to the meat of your story that much quicker. Mm -hmm.